Hello guys, you're welcome to the channel. My name is Yawa Simpi Sechere and this is Ashko TV, the official YouTube channel for Aceda House Commodities. Now guess what? I have always said that agribusiness is very, very wide and broad. Now, I posted a video in, in which I was saying that the maize planting season is here. Talked a lot about maize farming. Now, something you should also know is that maybe you don't want to go into the farming. Maybe you don't want to be a farmer, right? But you still want to invest in maize or in agribusiness in the direction of farming. In this video, I'm going to show you three very important tools that farmers really need. Almost every maize farmer in Ghana needs this um this equipment one way or the other at least two of two out of three of them every maize farmer needs them or needs the services of these um, tools okay now these are also avenues that you can go into it you can buy and rent to these farmers all right there are three that i have identified very critical ones three of them and i'm going to explain to you what the what, what they does and what um you can get from it when you decide decide to invest into them, get them and then rent them, rent them out to maize farmers. Let's get into the video. Right now, the first the first tool that I want to recommend to you that you can go into, you can buy a number of them and actually rent out to farmers is maize planter. Yes, maize planters. Okay. Now, what is happening is that these maize planters they are able to help the farmer plant in straight rows okay plant in straight rows because if you look at it the the only alternative apart from using the, these planters is the manual planting okay and what happens is that you're not able to get the rows very very well you're not going to get you don't get um straight rows when you use the manual you know planting but with these planters with these mechanic planters you are able to plant in straight lines and in equal distance take note of it straight line and equal distance sometimes you are able to you know plant in straight line but what about the distance mind you if you want to do maize farming and do it very well you should take all these things into consideration you should be able to plant in equal distance because this is an acre an acre has one size wherever you go now you know that you are able, you want to plant a certain number of um a certain number of you know plants on an acre okay if you use whenever you use this kind of mechanized you know planters you are able to do what to determine how many plants how many maize you know plants you are going to be able to plant on an acre you know by knowing the distance between each of these um, these teeth of the row of, of, of the planters. All right. So these planters are very necessary. A lot of um, farmers need them, need the services of them, and a lot of farmers are not able to buy them or feel reluct reluctant buying them because maize is a seasonal crop. After the season, it will be ideal for the next before the, you know until the next season comes. So most farmers are reluctant about buying them, but they prefer rather renting them remember we are not going to be able to give you the price of what of these equipments these three equipments i'm talking about okay now what we can give you is how much you can rent it for so when you are able to get your price whatever you, you think you can get these equipments from then you also look at you know you you match it with um the the cost of renting then you'll be able to do your maths and know the profit that you can make out of, you know, going into um, investing into this particular equipment. Now, that being said, these planters, these maize planters, for what I know, they are rented for between 50 cities to 100 cities per acre. Okay, 50 cities to 100 cities per acre. Okay, and then mind you, this is not just one acre, it is going to be you can rent it out to people who have five acres, ten acres. You know, they are a lot. 
All right. People who do large scale farming probably have planters. You understand? So the small scale farming, like five acres, 10 acres, six acres, you know, 15 acres, they, they are, they should be your target market. They are the people you should be targeting. All right. So I can say that in a day, you can rent it out for work for 20 acres. And then you can do this for two, three months, you know, for the first season and then maybe two, three months also for the second season. So just calculate this by, let's say, five months in the whole year. Then you know how much you can make in a year, right? Owing just one of, 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 of these um, planters. All right. Now, now, the second thing I want to recommend to you, the, same, the second equipment that I, or machinery, farm machinery that I want to recommend to you is the, the land, you know, plowing machines. Okay, plowing machines. Like last, um, I remember last season I made a video about, you know, the process of um, our, our maize farm. And uh, there were a lot of questions about, uh, you know, plowing machines. Whenever it is maize season like this, plowing machines are hot kick. There's no two ways about it. And last season, the price for a plowing machine for an acre, the service of a plowing machine for an acre was 250 CDs. So this season, you should be looking at 300 CDs for one acre. Now, once again, you should be looking at um, doing, you know, 50, at least 50 for a day. If you have these services, if you, if you have a list of um, farmers, that, that needs these services. You could do 50 acres in a day. Just multiply by at least 250 cities per acre. All right. Because um, the more, you know, people give you work, I mean, you you, you decide to, you know, reduce the services. So let's, let's just say minimum 250 cities by 50, seed, by 50 acres in a day. And you can do this for like two months in a year, no, in the, in, in, in the first season, and two months in the second season. We are talking about four months, and you can do up to 50 acres per day. Now, do your own calculations. I'll just leave it for you to do your own calculations and go back to, let, to, to see how you're going to get this, these machines, because we don't deal in the machines, of course. So get, you get how to deal, how to get these machines, get the, the, get the cost, get do this calculation and get the possible revenue that you're going to make out of it and then strike and make the possible and get the possible profit that you can get from buying these machines all right and and mind you you're not going to do it for just one year you can do this for it can be there for as many years as possible five years ten years the machine will still be there and you still be making profit out of it now surprisingly i just remembered one other machinery which a lot of people have not, you know, put their mind it um, onto. A lot of people have not considered it, but it is very, very essential. This is spraying machines. Spraying machines. Now, listen. In the village where we were doing our farms last season, one spraying machine was 15 CDs. Renting it for a day was 15 CDs. Okay, now I don't think this spraying machine costs more than 500 CDs. Now, this machine, if well maintained, you can use it for up to five years. If well maintained, maybe once a while you have to, you know, change some, the, some few parts of it. But it can be there for a very long time. Now, just imagine if you have 10 of them. If you have 10 of them, which you are going to buy for like, maximum 5,000 cities and you're going to rent each out for a day for for 15 cities just make it 10 cities to break into the market how much are you going to make in a month how much are you going to make in two months right and how much are you going to make if four months you're going to use it for four months in the year for both seasons of the year all right do the calculation but i tell you it is also very, very profitable. Right. Now, the last equipment I want to talk to you about that I want to recommend that you can go into and actually invest, buy a lot of it, 
if not one, if not two, you know, buy a couple of them and then rent them out, which is also a very, 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 very hot kick of uh, machinery in, in agribusiness, especially in maize farming. Is treasure the, the treasures the this the, this is the machine that what treasures or serve in the final stage of your harvest. Okay, now these machines they are in different you know they are in different sizes and capacities, but you can get some that is very very minimal that you you are you you can you know use it efficiently for like five. To ten years also. Now the now the difference. What set this um, threshing machine apart from the other equipment is that for the threshing machine you can even situate it in town. Because come to think of it, if you are looking at the maize planters, if you are looking at spraying machines, if you are looking at plowing machines, you have to be in farming communities. Because you have to be close to where their lands are, their farming lands are. That is where you're going to get them. That is where you're going to, you know, get to provide these services. But for the treasure, for the maize treasure, you can bring it to town because after harvest, after harvest, a lot of these farmers prefer even bringing their, their produce to the house. And then come and, you know, thresh it finally. All right. So even if you have this treasure, you don't want to go to the farmland, eh, maybe so from time to time you have to go there, but you can also, there's also an option of keeping some in the house and then use it for the services, use it to service all the farmers that prefer bringing their produce to what? To the house. All right. So this is one, this is another. There are a lot of these equipment, but this is the three, four, now four, you know, that I I wish you can also go into. You could you could get few as for the spray machine, they, they are cheap. They are cheap. Relatively cheap. Let me say it that way. You know, let me choose my words carefully. Relatively cheap. We are talking about five hundred CDs machine that you can rent for like sixty times or hundred and twenty times in a year. And you're going to charge at least 15 CDs for one day. You know, sometimes you don't have to be a farmer to benefit from farming. I hope you heard me right. Sometimes you don't have to be a farmer to benefit from farming. You can also provide services that farmers need and also what? Make a business out of it. Right. So this is Ashko TV, the official YouTube channel for Aceda House Commodities. Time and time again, we will be bringing you very important business information that you can uh, you can adapt and pro and and make a business out of it, right? So this is one side. We will bring you other videos, giving you other tips, other practical tips for that matter, right? Now until we meet in the next one, remember the message has always been one. Listen to the information, do your own research, and then get into agribusiness. Bring out the positive stories of agribusiness and let the youth of Africa get to know, get motivated. And, you know, you and I know what this means. You're going to empower a lot of youth in Africa to get into this noble job of agribusiness and um, feed the world, feed themselves and their families and make a good business out of it. Until we meet in the next one, my name is Yawasi Pisechira and this is Ashko TV, the official YouTube channel for Acida House Commodities. Bye-bye for now.